Well, hello again, all my loyal YouTube subscribers, and welcome back once more to Classic Dirt Bike TV. Now, in this next feature clip, we're going to check out some examples of another British motorcycle manufacturer who produced motocross bikes, or scramblers, as they were known uh, back in the 1960s. So I do hope you'll stick around for the next uh, few minutes as we showcase some classic British Greaves scramblers. Now to start us off, and uh, in this first selection we're going to take a look at Irishman Craig McCoo's Greaves racers, and this first example is one of Craig's uh, Greaves Challenger 250s. Now these old 1960s Challengers were raced by many of the top uh, racers in the UK of their day, and the likes of uh, the great Brian Stonebridge and Dave Bickers were just uh, two of the riders who rode these Greaves motorcycles. Now Craig, who we can just see here behind his bike, uh, just absolutely loves these old uh, Greaves machines and uh, better still, he loves racing them even more. Now these Challengers of course were uh, famed for their uh, leading link banana style front forks and although they looked a bit weird they actually worked quite well for their time. But of course uh, this is just one of the many Greaves bikes that uh, Craig has in his possession and as you can see these are uh, no display bikes, these are purely old school racers which are still being used on the track because many of these old Challengers are very seldom used now as uh, vintage race bikes. Now this very nice Greaves Griffin is another of Craig's machines and these uh, Griffins were of course the bikes that replaced those earlier uh, Challengers and these were a very good motorcycle back in the day and sold well uh, not just here in the UK but overseas and uh, in the USA particularly. But Craig's bike is of course uh, not a 100% fully original machine but is uh, very near enough and this gold metal flake colour scheme is uh, not a replacement colour for some kind of uh, psychedelic hippie rider. This is just uh, one of the many colours that you could uh, choose when you ordered one of these Griffins from a dealership in the 1960s. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is a 250 or 360 Griffin because it was the uh, 380 of course that had the twin port exhaust header pipes that uh, fed into a single tailpipe at the rear so I'm uh, sure it's either a 250 or a 360. But these Griffin motors were decent power plants in their day and it's said that the oversized uh, barrel fins on the motor were designed to improve the cooling when these bikes were shipped to the USA to be used in desert racing. But normally these Griffins had a four speed gearbox and uh, as I remember they had an all uh, metal clutch and uh, this uh, engine put out about uh, 39 horsepower as I uh, recall which wasn't too bad for a 1970s uh, British motocross bike. But as you can see that these uh, Greaves motors did have a huge surface area for the cylinder to dissipate that heat as quickly as possible and to improve the cooling of the motor. Now the ignition system on these bikes was a kind of uh, electronic energy transfer uh, type of affair but by all accounts was uh, reasonably reliable. Although when these old Griffins were set up right with uh, regards to their suspension and engine settings then they could be a very competitive package for a good club rider. But another very nice machine from Craig's collection and one of course that is still being raced. Now this other uh, very nice looking Griffin is another bike from Craig's compendium of Greaves uh, racers and again I'm not entirely sure if this is a 250 or 360 as uh, Craig never actually told me on the day that I shot uh, these clips. But nevertheless another very nice example of one of uh, Bert Greaves' creations. But again uh, this bike is not a fully original example 
of a Greaves from back in the day as it has uh, different uh, rear shocks and a couple of other uh, non-original parts but uh, just even looking at these bikes standing still they certainly look like they could do a good job on any kind of racetrack. But of course the story of the Greaves company has been well documented on how Bert Greaves founded his uh, Invercar three-wheeler transporters for people who had disabilities and then how he diversified into building motorcycles like these Griffins and Challengers for off-road use. But it's a good read and uh, I'd certainly recommend checking out the Greaves history whenever you have a bit of time. Now this over-the-engine exhaust is our trademark off these uh, Griffins and if this was a 380 motor it would have had uh, two header pipes coming out of that cylinder uh, connecting it to a single rear tailpipe. But by going by the very shallow angle of this bike's uh, rear shocks this could possibly be a QUB Griffin which was when uh, Greaves teamed up with the Queen's University in Belfast to further develop these uh, Griffin models but I'm not exactly sure if this is one of those bikes but it certainly has the look. So anyhow that's our very first part of this Greaves video and a look at uh, Craig McCoo's Challenger and Griffin bikes. Now next up we're going to take a look at some of the very nice Greaves motocrossers that I spotted at the Telford classic dirt bike show and more specifically the bikes that were on display on the Greaves Riders Association stand. Now these guys are your uh, Greaves experts and there's uh, not much that these people don't know about uh, these British made bikes and uh, on the day they had some fantastic examples of Greaves racers on display. Now first up, uh, this looks like a very nice Challenger model, it's been given the full restoration treatment and uh, the quality of some of the bikes that were being displayed at this uh, Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show was just amazing. So you should uh, make a point of visiting in uh, 2021. But in comparison to Craig's bikes we saw earlier, these are uh, more than likely just uh, all show bikes, whereas uh, Craig's were still being used as classic uh, racers but nevertheless it's still great that these restored bikes give us all a little insight into what uh, one of these greaves may have looked like if you were uh, looking at one through a dealership window uh, back in the day. And this uh, rather nice uh, looking blue uh, greaves again looks like it's another Challenger model that's been given the full blown uh, renovation treatment. But this bike still had the trademark I-beam alloy box section frame down tube but uh, another uh, cracking looking machine uh, nevertheless. But this next bike was a bit unusual and uh, a hybrid uh, Greaves where uh, somebody's taken a Greaves frame and then slotted in a big TT500 Yamaha 4 stroke motor and uh, then renamed it as a Greaves Special. Well, it certainly must have taken some good engineering to slot in this uh, big Yamaha motor into the Greaves frame but uh, it certainly looks like it's been uh, thought through and uh, well uh, put together. Although the front end of the bike uh, looks like it's also been changed with more uh, modern looking forks and an upgraded hydraulic uh, disc brake but uh, what this bike would be like to actually ride I'm not uh, too sure but uh, maybe Bert Greaves might not approve of a big Japanese four-stroke motor uh, sitting in one of his uh, lovely frames. But this bike's uh, certainly something different and maybe a bit radical, although uh, this bike will never be short of horsepower, that's for sure, with this big 500 uh, Yamaha lump as its power plant. Uh, but well done to the bike's builder anyhow for creating something uh, very unconventional. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see this bike uh, perform on a racetrack somewhere. Now on the day of the show I never really had uh, time to look at all the Greaves bikes that were on display as there were just far too many of them and so tightly packed together 
it was uh, quite hard to try and get some decent shots but suffice to say every one of them were uh, more or less in uh, better than original condition and uh, it would have been great to do, uh, been able to pull one or two of them out uh, to get a better view but if you like your Greaves bikes or even any other make or model of dirt bike for that matter then uh, this Telford classic dirt bike show is certainly the place to see them and here we have another uh, very nicely restored uh, Challenger model with those trademark leading link banana style uh, front forks which were an almost uh, standard fitting on uh, many of these Challenger bikes back in the 1960s but these green frames and white uh, fiberglass tanks and side panels were among uh, the most popular colour schemes if you uh, bought a new Greaves bike uh, back in the day and this particular Challenger has the more uh, modern conventional telescopic uh, front forks as opposed to the earlier uh, leading link units that we featured uh, previously. Although mind you this uh, little grease doesn't look like it's been through the restoration process and has uh, all the hallmarks that it could actually be an original uh, Greaves machine although uh, the exhaust system might be a pattern replacement as uh, it certainly looks a lot cleaner than the rest uh, of this bike but uh, nevertheless a nice original uh, looking uh, Greaves now this was another uh, gorgeous looking bike another uh, Griffin model of course decked out in that uh, lovely British racing green colour and uh, for me personally this was the pick of the bunch on the Greaves stand and certainly one that I'd love to have uh, got some close-ups of uh, on the day and again another nice looking Greaves and this looks like it could be an older Greaves uh, Hoxton but uh, then again I'm no uh, expert on these uh, British made machines and I'm sure uh, I'll be put in my place by some of you uh, more knowledgeable YouTubers if I've spoken uh, out of turn. But it's sufficient to say that uh, the Greaves Riders Association had some cracking looking bikes on their stand at the show and I'm sure that uh, Bert Greaves himself will have approved of each and every bike. So anyhow I do hope you've enjoyed having a very brief look at these examples from the Greaves uh, Riders Association and of course the other bikes that we featured from Craig McCoo earlier on and if these are the kind of old dirt bikes that you like to look at here on YouTube then maybe you'd consider subscribing uh, to my channel. Okay next up we'll be taking a look at some archive CCM racing from 2005 at the Nostalgia Scramble which will include uh, this CCM legend, uh, Jimmy Aird. So thanks again for watching and stay safe riding those old vintage scramblers until we speak once again here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.